and welcome aboard everyone. My name is Harley Trek and these are the voyages. I hope today finds you well my friends. I am still doing great. This is part two of my Saturday jaunt. I stopped for a quick caffeinated drink to wet my parched whistle and now I'm back on the road just puttering around really. I have no destination in, in mind. Um, Sometimes uh, those are the best rides. You just get out and you just go. And so far, no one's really ticked me off, so that's a plus. Uh, but the ride is young, so we uh, we shall see. Um, this is about to tick me off. <clears throat> and I am not following these bozos all the way back around to the house. Uh, while I was enjoying my carbonated beverage, I um, was reading uh, an article on Ravzilla uh, about uh, Harley Davidson and their their lack of conformity to uh, motorcycle quote unquote standards. Talking about turn signals of all things, um, yes, Harley is uh, different in that their turn signal switches one are auto canceling, which I think is a blessing, but then two they are split. Uh, you want to turn left, you push left, you want to go right, you push right. It seems pretty simple. And uh, in my experience, uh, I've been riding a Harley Davidson of one form or other for, uh, oh, five years or so, maybe six. Uh, I can't be bothered to do the math right now. It's never been a problem for me. Uh, but the author of the story was uh, lamenting that perhaps it's uh, that kind of thinking that is keeping folks off of uh, new Harley Davidsons. Um, I don't know that I agree. Uh, standards, standards be damned. Um, you know, if you got a system that you like and it works, well then go for it. Personally, um, uh, if I were on another bike, uh, coming off of, or going on to a metric of some kind or other, then um, you know I know that uh, the switch is on the left side. Now, reacting from muscle memory would probably have me grabbing the the right clamshell trying to turn right. But you know that's just a learning curve. You know, cars are different um, from one to another sometimes to the, uh, you know, having horn switches in different places and uh, things like that. And heaven forbid when they when they started putting um, uh, headlight dimmers uh, on the stalk instead of uh, in the floor, uh, that buggered me for a little bit. Yes, I'm that old. I often like to like the fact that the uh, dimmer switch was on the floorboard because you could stomp it with uh, authority especially if someone was blinding you coming down the highway in the opposite direction yep six gears only mark leave it alone son but you know i don't know that uh, it was a valid argument uh, i think sometimes uh, these these guys just editorialize to stir shit up but if, if a uh, turn signal configuration keeps you off a big twin, well, okay, uh, that's, that's, all, that's all on you. Um, personally, if I like a bike enough, I would, uh, you know, endeavor to, to learn the difference in control configurations. And, you know, I don't think it would take too long. But I think he was uh, going more toward a specious argument that, uh, you know, Harley's losing business. And um, they're uh, they're chided for their lack of innovation, and are also and styling, and are also chided for uh, you know dang lock, lock, uh, turn signal switches. I don't know what the deal is. Now, personally, I love my Harley Davidson. I never plan to sell my Harley Davidson. I have ridden only Harley Davidsons, and uh, you know that's my brand. That's what I choose to ride. Uh, uh, think it's stupid, think it great, I don't really care, um, and, uh, you know, you ride what you like to ride, you know, um, uh, oh, uh, quick congratulations, had I not mentioned it before, to, um, uh, the Cranky Biker, my buddy Paul down in, uh, North Georgia, uh, he has, uh, moved from Ducati to BMW, he got him a, a beautiful, uh, GSA, I believe it was, I'm sorry, Paul, if I missed that, uh, moniker, but, it's a beautiful bike, and um, one that he can go off-road in where I cannot. Uh, but you know, 
it's a beauty you can't deny it and of course being equivalently priced to uh, my old buddy cash here you know it's an investment and people caring about how pricey motorcycles have, have gotten well go for a cheaper model I guess you know it's it's all about what you want to do and about how you want to do it uh, you know it's, it's your choice to go with the uh, with the upper tier or not and all in, if you want a tour get a tour if you want a uh, adventure then get an adventure but I tell you the Ducati uh, Multistrada he came off of was quick as lightning uh, during our trip to uh, Hootenanny 2016 I believe it was uh, we were riding in formation with uh, a couple of pals from the Atlanta area uh, Marcellus Wiley and uh, Bill Frankowski shout out to you gentlemen I haven't seen you in a while and uh, it'd be good to ride with you again but uh, there was one point uh, we'd been languishing in traffic and the traffic opened up Paul said something like I can't stand it anymore see you in a minute and he, he lit that thing up and he took off like a bat out of you know where uh, and he was gone uh, you know it's uh, I was severely impressed actually I, I don't know how Cash would have uh, fared in uh, keeping up with him I doubt as well as I would have liked to have thought <laughs> but it's all in what you're doing and what you like to do you know people are going to be arguing about makes and, and brands and uh, favorites this and favorites that and probably shitting and uh, you know Honda's not and whatever you want to talk about but you know I find that in the grand scheme of things it really doesn't matter uh, personally I think the uh, redesign for the uh, for the new Goldwing is it makes it a beautiful motorcycle um, yes uh, I've read that you know there some things were probably not quite ready for prime time when they released it. Uh, I've heard bad things about the uh, the front suspension, uh, which was a, a redesigned uh, effort from Honda, and uh, you know the storage is down and uh, people complain about that. But you know, and I know some folks that they ride Gold Wings and ride them very well, um, and I just think that you know. It's, it's not worth the jawing uh, going from the from the older model to the newer model. I find it very, very much more attractive than um, the previous generation. And, uh, you know, it's just, I think, a personal taste. I didn't go ride one. I haven't tried one on for size. Not looking to. Uh, you know, I just uh, took care of the note on, on my boy here, and he's 100% mine, and that's the way I like it. You know, I thought long and hard uh, before uh, dropping a big nickel on uh, on this guy when uh, you know I had I bought Betty used for significantly less than what I paid for this bike but in the end I'm glad I did this bike is uh, much more refined I mean you're talking uh, 12 years no eight years difference or 11 years about 11 years difference and um, in technology and fitment and features and uh, one Betty was just too damn big uh, it was a hard hard pill to swallow but uh, for a fella my size uh, she was a pig and uh, you know while Cashier isn't tremendously lighter he is though 50 some odd 50 to 60 some odd pounds lighter uh, he sits a little bit lower and as a uh, age creeps up on me you know it's a it's gonna be a better thing for me to be able to handle this bike uh, the older I get <laughs> love making up those gears I'm not sure there's a point to this whole diatribe but Sometimes you just have to ramble, and I ramble best with my mouth open, so uh, I apologize for that. That's different. But, you know, while it's not a beautiful day, it is a day, and it's a day that's, uh conditions are good enough for riding, so I thought I'd hit it down the road a bit and go back. I don't want to 
want to get in the habit that I have been in due to my current situation and uh, health and on mental state that uh, I don't want to forget he's out there in the garage waiting for me. You know, I bought this bike, well, I bought my first bike uh, for uh, reasons of sanity savings, among other things. Um, when my marriage fall, fell apart, that was when uh, I bought my first bike. And uh, that little fellow, he saved my sanity. I firmly believe it. And I find that it's, with more experience, it's more difficult to lose yourself in the ride because your skill set develops to the point where you can do a lot of things unconsciously, even though there's a lot more things to do on a motorcycle than driving a car. Um, I've got the miles under me now to where, you know, I know I don't have to think about, you know, clutching and gearing and shifting and all that stuff. I, it's just, it just comes naturally now. Um, and it's more and more difficult to uh, lose myself in that ride. So I have to make an effort to shunt things aside, if you will, and just be one with the experience. I mean, you don't get this kind of ride in a car. I don't care if it's a convertible. I don't care uh, what it is. Uh, there's a freedom involved. Um, and just zipping down the road at, you know, you know, like I'm doing 55 miles an hour right now. And uh, I'm just having a blast. If I was driving the truck, I'd just be driving the truck, complaining about how slow everybody was in front of me. Well, you know, on this thing, I usually travel slower than in my truck. Uh, no comments from the peanut gallery watching my speedometer when I, in my other motor vlogs. I will say that I, when I'm lickety-splitting, I'm lickety-splitting. And this bike is just as stable at 40 miles an hour as it is at 80. And, uh, of course, that may be my downfall. I've yet, knock on wood, to, uh, to get a, uh, a speeding ticket on a motorcycle. I hope it's a long time coming, or never. If I had my choices one way or the other, I'd say never. But it is what it is. Now, you either, uh, or that was a cold spot I just hit. It cannot be 59 degrees out here, buddy. How cold is it? Yeah. Well, okay, if you say so. My thermostat must be off then, because yours is remains steady. But he doesn't take into account wind chill like I do. Brr. Uh, spring's coming, I can tell you that, but I think I wish it would take a little bit less time to uh, get here. Impulse power? Well, I wouldn't at warp anyway. You gotta keep my details straight, ladies and gentlemen. When that warp core is active, you know it. I will say that um, traffic down this road is moving at quite a quite a nice pace today. I'm usually cussing a human by now. Somebody doing 20 miles an hour in a 35, 40 mile an hour zone. <clears throat> I still need to get my clutch recall done. And I still need to get the estimate done so I can get my bits replaced on this thing and hit me back to full speed. Lookwise, anyway. Thankfully, I didn't take any mechanical damage when I dumped him. That would have been a, a, a downer on the weekend, that's for sure. <clears throat> Hello, Dad. Good to see you, pal. So the ride short, as it must be, unfortunately, and the weather closes back in on us tonight or tomorrow, and it'll be another indeterminate number of days before I can get back out again. I'd like to take a little day trip somewhere, but funds uh, are not such that I can. I don't know. Let me just take a, a grand loop one day. It's been a while since I've done that. Uh, up north of town a little bit. They usually ride around here because there's some pretty roads. So I've taken you on them. Now, see, I didn't have any trouble canceling that turn signal. Oh. This road is always a challenge. It's got to be the worst paved road in the dang county. But if I'm on my game, oh, well, no, I'm not on my game because here comes cars. Let's get over here on the the bumpy side of the road. God. I 
when I hit it right and get no traffic on this road, I can juke and jive around these potholes and bumps and everything and, uh, and have a grand old time doing it. But when you have to go through it, it's a bit of a chore. This is not a, an adventure bike by any stretch of the imagination. I don't care what new suspension they put on them. I just like it taking out little doggies too. They go absolutely ape crap. So my friends, as I wind my way homeward, I will allow you to return to your day. Please uh, return your flight attendant to her full and upright position. And until next time, my friends, ride them if you got them. And live long and prosper.